View Your Deal partnered with vendors for up to 69% off. Last minute finds for everyone on your list. Let's fire up Hot Topics with Whoopi, Sunny Hostin, Joy Behar, Sarah Haynes, and Jedediah Bila. Now, let's get things started. Sunday to defend his use of limited intelligence. Briefings. <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to be getting them, daily intel briefings, but he says he just doesn't need them. And here's why. I, I get it when I need it. I don't have to be told, you know, I'm like a smart person. I don't have to be told the same thing and the same words every single day for the next eight years. Say he must have had a change of heart because back in 2012 he tweeted priorities while fundraising and campaigning on our dime Obama has skipped over 50 percent of his intel briefings wow. <laughs> is that true or is that fake news <laughs> well this is what he said in 2012 yeah but yeah. you never he lies all the time so you don't know what he said what, they, what he's saying is well, a lie or not but who knew but the point is when you lie, you can't remember what you said, but maybe he, he forgot that he was taking someone else to task for the very same thing. Well, he doesn't have time for the CIA briefings, the intel briefings, and Celebrity Apprentice. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much for him. I didn't actually mind on this particular thing because I, I, the idea of a meeting that where nothing's changed, I, I do realize it's a big thing, but he wants to turn bureaucracy on its head and he wants to break down what's being done. So maybe if you have three people going to the same meeting every day, he said if something should change from this point, immediately call me, I'm available on one minute's notice. So maybe his idea is rather than Pence and he both going, just Pence goes. I, I will say I agree with you on that. Um, because I worked in the government, um, and I remember we had to go to these sort of briefings, not intelligence briefings, but we did have case briefings, and I felt like I was hearing the same thing every week, and it was horrifying to me, yeah, and they, I hated I'm going. Jane Harman, I'm on. Jane going. Harman, I believe it was on today. She used to be a, a senator. She was in the in a very important position. I can't remember it. I'm sorry. But anyway, she was saying that you have to spend a year mm -hmm. understanding the intel briefings. Well, and that's very. That's the difference. I mean, my briefings certainly were, you know, federal yeah. prosecutor type briefings about, about the law, confusing. but this is, this is, this is different. I'm, I'm, I can understand it a bit. I mind because he works for us. Like, he doesn't get, this is the job. You're pre first of all, you know, with all due respect, Sonny, you had a tough job, but president-elect is a whole other category. And I think this guy has this notion that this job's going to be fun. It's not a fun job. This is a really difficult, hard job. And I want to know that he got elected and he's in it to actually do the job, not to just look good and, oh, let me, let me, let me hope everybody likes me. So I don't care if, you, if you're bored. I don't care if you don't want to go every day. We elected you to do this job. Get in there and do it. And you know what? If you have to yawn through it, that's not my problem. You work for us, not the other way How around. How about this? Mm -hmm. You're fired. Did anybody hear me? Because my mic is dead. Well, your mic is dead. Can you I hear, mean, the, can you hear the, me? The my other, mic is dead. Yeah, they can hear you. All right. With or without the mic? No, you need the mic. Your mic is dead. This? Mic what is am I hot. doing? Stand up here? <laughs> Based on what we're talking about this morning, yeah. The C a CIA investigation concluded that Russian hackers were working to get Donald Trump elected president. And a bipartisan group of senators, including John McCain and Lizzie Graham, are calling for a bit of a probe into Russia's role into the election. But do you believe Russian hacking could actually change the outcome? Yes! I do believe that. Well, That's what I believe. If you add it to the fact that 
you know, the RNC, nothing came out on them. Mm -hmm. So they must have, ha they hacked into the RNC's emails, but the Republican uh, Party, but nothing came out about that. Then, you know, so possibly, yes. Well, but, th but that thing, it, it's possibly. We don't know for sure if there's this nexus between the Russians hacking into the DNC and Hillary losing. But I think what is most troubling is that Donald Trump is saying that we don't know if Russia is behind the hacks when you have not one, not two, but 17, 17. intelligence agencies agreeing that Russia, in fact, did do this to try to sway and, and the he, election. Trump, Trump encouraged it. Watch this clip in case you didn't see it. Watch this. I will tell you this. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. I think you will probably be rewarded mightily by our press. I mean, it's unbelievable. Yeah. It's not, but it's I think the, the idea that he that he doesn't see the problem with that is a problem because you mm -hmm. it, it, this is not a partisan issue. This is about someone right. coming into our country and yeah. continuing to make it seem rigged and not right. He should be the first one spearheading. Hey, because I don't know if the results would have been different, but the fact they have proof that this well, happened the, the, is a problem. When the, Kellyanne Conway says this might be fake news at times yeah. when she refers to well, it, yeah. that's Kellyanne a problem. Conway is fake news, but she, um, she's coming here this. I don't care. Just um, from, you know, listen, if this were any other country, we'd be all in their business. Yeah. We'd be investigating, we'd be looking and saying, you can't run uh, these kinds of uh, election mm -hmm. He's things. fixing my wire. That's He's fixing your mic. There's a, There's a white right man now. on his knees behind <laughs> Joy Mayer. Nothing to do about that. Nothing to do about that. Yeah. You. I'm do that to me. Now you know. You know I mean, can I just say something on that? Go ahead. It's it's like they are discrediting the CIA, his yes. campaign, and and he, and the the president elect mm -hmm. of this country, is discrediting the organization that basically protects us from foreign invasion, exactly. from from uh, you know. Isn't it time for him to step down? I mean, do he has to step down before the inauguration, before they give He's, him the nuclear codes? Also, we know, are at risk when the president China. of the United States is fighting with the CIA. Well, that well, is a terrible know, it's, thing. It's 17 agencies saying there's an issue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's, yeah. It's not one right. or two. It's yeah. 17 of them. And they all didn't like Mrs. Clinton. Right. You know, they're not there for her, but, you know, it can't be bad just because it's not good for you. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, you're fighting with China. Yeah. You, know, you haven't even become president yet, and you fight with all these folks, and I get that you want to see other stuff done, but, again, for me, if you really want to talk about bringing jobs back, you got to talk about manufacturing. Mm -hmm. There are, we got a, factories all over this country that have been closed down. People have been out of work for a while. I understand you want to bring jobs back. This is how you do it. You don't go to Russia because they don't do well by their own. That's they true. don't really look out for their own people. It's just the whole you know? thing is that's, just dangerous. That's been my question, though. We were talking about it this morning at the Hot Topics meeting. Why is he so interested in being embroiled with Russia? Money. Because it, and it must be personal wealth, because now for Secretary Money. of State, he wants to nominate some. He wants well, to nominate the Exxon CEO. What we're coming on. So, so this Russian interference is why a lot of people are concerned with Trump's reported pick for Secretary of State. Yeah. Okay, Exxon CEO, I was going to get to it, actually. Sorry. Rex, okay. that's all right, <laughs> Tillerson. A man with strong ties, business ties, to Russia and personal ties to Vladimir Putin. Now, does this bother anyone? Yeah, 100%. Why? Yeah, why? Yeah, what about, what about, why? What, yes. Paul Manafort, who used to be his campaign director, he had to quit because of his ties to Russia. I mean, do we have to wait till the hammer and sickle is on the American flag before we stand up to this guy? <laughs> is, like to Whoopi's point, when you're talking about manufacturing, which is how you really do bring in jobs, why is he in bed with Russia like this? Is it because our oil industry is going to be reinvigorated? Is it an energy yeah. thing? I, is I it, think or that's is it, be, is it I think the work? optics of it is that. He figures, oh, let me, let me, also for him, it's let me bring someone to the table and have some sort of, let me, let me portray myself as the great negotiator. Mm -hmm. Let me put mm -hmm. someone in there who's going to do right by Russia somehow, has an in, and I'm going to look good then because I'm going to be able to reap the benefits of Donald Trump is the reason that this is happening. Right. But this guy has a long history of business deals. 
deals with Russia. This is a guy who criticized U.S. sanctions against Russia because it would hurt his own pocket and his own business. Now, that's fine as a businessman, but you're not a businessman if you take this position. You're working on behalf of the interests of the people of the United States. And maybe, I'm not convinced maybe. that someone who has this long-standing relationship with Russia, where, let's face it, you had to schmooze, you had to do what you needed to do to get money for your business, is now going to be able to flip that on a dime and suddenly be tough with Russia. I want someone who's going to be tough with Vladimir Putin. Well, can, I'm I, not can, I, this can I put this in your head? Can I put this in your head? Because, Mrs. Tillerson, I, I think you should know this. He's also pro-fracking, but he is suing to stop a water tower that could be used in fracking from being built in his neighborhood. Oh. Complaining that it would not be a noise backyard. nuisance and a traffic hazard. So it's okay in somebody else's neighborhood, but not in yours. See, this is the problem with business. This is the problem when you have all business people running stuff. You can't run this country like a business. You have to run this country like a country. But, that, but uh, to, to his, his supporters... His supporters would say that the opposite of that. They would say th these are successful business people, and that's the reason. Are they? No, I would argue that they're you can run. Well, yeah. No, but yeah. He's, you, you said that yes. yes. many no, times. Listen, right. you don't pay, if I don't pay taxes, I'd be a billionaire too. <laughs> <laughs> you probably would. You know. You can be a successful business person, that's fine, but you can't be a successful business person and go into a deal like this. This is a guy who had to schmooze a country that is our foe. That's fine, whatever he did for Exxon. As a CEO of a company, that's your job. Now your job would be to protect us but and American interests. Donald interest. Trump ran that on, Jed, fit. and and that was something that impressed you. I remember. But he also ran on being uh -oh. tough with our enemies. <laughs> you, you, you? Yes. But said many saying. times that Donald well, that Trump was, was saying. Saying. that Donald Trump that's what I'm saying. was a good business right. person and that you but, didn't want a career politician. But I also, you wanted a business that's person. Correct. Now you're saying something no, different. I'm saying that. No. I do want a tough business person, but I don't want someone who is going to nominate people that are going to put us at a disadvantage with our enemies. Russia is an enemy. He is a nightmare, Vladimir Putin. And I said what people respected about Donald Trump is that he was going to be tough on Iran and on Russia. This is a sign to me that he is not. But this so yes, guy is a business person. That's fine. He's a business there person. Are some business there are some strong businessmen yeah. and women that he could have put in that position that would have been great negotiators, and I would have supported it. Yeah, like they do not have ties to what about Ivanka? She has a shoe line. Okay, clearly. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly, this is an ongoing conversation. <laughs> so we're going to go, come right back, get the bus at, into the bus station. Yeah. We'll be right back with more hot <laughs> Coming up, holiday hell? How constant caroling has some calling for a ban on Christmas music. holiday shopping today. We partnered with vendors for up to 69% off the hottest last minute finds they want under the tree this season. So welcome back. I have to, I have to clear something up. I was given a piece of information that is not correct. So uh, Rex Tillerson and his wife Renata dropped out of the lawsuit trying to stop construction of a water tower in oh. their Bartonville ranch in 2014. Okay. 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 All right. But they were in it, just not now. But we don't do fake so. news on The View. Well, <laughs> no, if we get a piece of information that's, right. that's given to us as right. the Red. correct information, we Red shift now. it when it's not when it's not right. right. So, you know, we cleared it up. So now you were, you were throwing her under the bus about her, you know, <laughs> thinking as a good businessman, then you threw in Ivanka, and then all <laughs> hell broke loose. So where are we I, now? I certainly wasn't trying to throw a jet on <laughs> So Jen and I are friends. I, I wasn't trying to throw her under the bus, but I just remember leading up to the election that I heard over and over again from my friend Jed that um, she, she thought that Donald Trump being a business person made him qualified 
to be the president. And I remember myself specifically saying that that was nonsense, that that's ridiculous. I, I think, so, I, I still think that's an asset you, to be a successful business person. And I think you can place successful business people in positions of power. I think it's a problem when that position is Secretary of State and when you have a business person that had ties to an enemy country who voted, who, who spoke out against sanctions against that country and who was out for his own personal interest in an oil industry, that, that's, that's going to have a lot of effect on our foreign but policy. About but think about this. No, wait. If he was, let's say they put a business person in head of, he's going to be the head of small business affairs. Mm -hmm. Great. That's somebody who has business experience, yeah. who, can, who can properly use it. Secretary of State is a diplomatic position. I want someone who so I don't the want. the president of the United States, right. and you thought the that's business experience great. was just that, for that that's position. Great, but I didn't vote for him. <laughs> I didn't vote for him. Do remember that uh, we've just established relationship with Cuba. Yeah. So that he has talked about rescinding now. Right. So yes. if we get into bed with Russia, does that mean we're back in bed with Cuba? I'm very confused by all of it. Well, yeah. Because on well, he some hand, like, he, he's yeah. okay with this, and some hand, he's Cuba's not. Because Cuba's still a communist country. The Soviet Union is gone. And now capitalists over there. So he likes well, that. That's he can what make, we like. I can't don't make believe money so. in Cuba. If you think about it right now, the rest of them about are gone. Was person. Mm -hmm. In his role at Exxon, he made these close ties with Putin and he opposed the U.S. sanctions against Russia, but he negotiated with Putin in 2011. The president said it would be worth as much as $500 billion. That so was a money. business decision. He does something states where he normalizes ties with Russia that's and now great. the United States that has. Five hundred billion dollars. Would you be uh, no? In that, support that's of that? great, but I want someone who's tough. The, the, the job of a good negotiator, when you're defending the interests of the people of the United <laughs> States, is to be tough with Iran. Is to be tough with Russia. I don't want someone going in who has a business of schmoozing to get a, a good deal for his personal company. So that's and now speaking, like, that's why. I, that's, right. that's not to say he's not a successful business. And then that. I don't think he's. Sarah. Given his Sarah. Sarah. oil Go person ahead. has a place in any international s setting right, right now because oil is such a contentious topic. It's people that we're trying to we already have bad relationships with. So I can't see a place at all national stage right. where you put someone from big oil in there. And what about but the people that he's what about the people but that's he, a problem. What about the people that he's appointed from Goldman who work for Goldman Sachs? They went after Hillary Clinton like crazy the because she gave a couple of speeches. They also went I after mean, President Obama back in the day meet with Iran without preconditions. He did the problem. A strong person at the table. That's much different to me than sending someone in who has a long history of schmoozing with Russia it's, to listen, be tough on Russia. This is what business right. people do. Very deals. Well, that's the problem, you see, because, again, run this country like a business. No, you no, can't. This is not a business. This is a but, country. You have Going with your middle finger up to China, you have to actually have to negotiate. We must maintain some kind of reality check here when we're talking to various countries. We have diplomats. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you get, you know, bozos who think, oh, I'm going to change it. No, because they're not. See, they don't think this is funny. But the they don't think this is funny. Who voted for Trump and not one of us sitting at the table did. That's what they so they're getting what they wanted. Because well, the yeah. number one thing you well, no, from they, people you know in Russia, want from the businessman. They want look out for them, little guy. Let me tell you, look out. You're getting two <laughs> middle class. You're yeah. getting a two percent cut. Yeah. Single parent, and you got some kids. Going up out for you. He's Everybody said, yeah, we want to get a bit of Obamacare. What do you put? Replacement. Yeah. Where's yeah. the replacement? So, who get out for you? Well, they, they want a job. Not you, they baby. They want jobs, Those right? Yes, but he doesn't have any jobs for them. Have any jobs for them because he recognize that this country, this country, we're able to manufacture. We had the best workforce in the world. We made things that people wanted. We don't very little now. Very little but that people want. We send them overseas at the cheap labor. Yeah. But the guy who's the secretary of labor believes that robots should replace uh, people who. So, well, yeah. Because he doesn't want them to take well, it. He's going to eat, he's he's gonna eat up the unions who were there to protect so you. Because you see. Well, I hope. Your thought.
can come in and take this use it up clean up flip of their own personal in and right. do your hung do you want to take a That's not, this is not a good idea, but see, this is what the people's people have spoken, as you always say. I have. Yeah. <laughs> the people have spoken. Yeah, but as my aunt that's Julie what she always says. says, what do they need, a brick to fall on their heads? <laughs> you know, whatever it is, we'll be right back. <laughs> Turn to Reddit looking for it because his girlfriend is furious that he watched strippers at a bachelor party. He told her about it, but she thinks it's disgusting <laughs> and they have to dump him. Oh. And some of the responses said that, as you know, this counts as cheating. It's like, is this cheating? No, no. I don't think so. <laughs> My God, the table just got huge. <laughs> but you know, I'm telling you. Um, left Good Morning America. They took me years, years ago. I used to be a receptionist. <laughs> they knew you. I was a receptionist there. Had Good Morning America, um, <laughs> and they took me to a strip club. I guess you call um, what's it called with the guys? Chip Chip and Chip and yeah. And I had to put a dollar in a hammock. <laughs> and I, I, I did that. I don't think it's any big deal to be in a strip club. It's nothing. It's kind of funny. That was yeah. well, not at a strip club. It was actually at a at a strip club. Come in and. And he said, and he didn't, he wasn't like sitting there. So, but she said, oh, I, I, I haven't had more happen yes. or just maybe. I mean, I haven't had to personally deal with this because even for my husband's bachelor party, he was like, I don't want to go to strip club. I want to go to a boxing match. Like it's just not his thing. But there's this trend of people going to strip clubs, together, and we were invited by a, a good friend in Atlanta to go to club together and apparently all these people go on dates to the strip club and I really do it I'm uncomfortable with like being degraded that way yeah I was I was thinking well, maybe, maybe it's kind of you know I, I, go ahead I and did my be spicy kind of I, I don't see it as cheating it's almost like a fantasy isn't it I mean just watching the strip why club. do you go as a woman though to see a woman I went strip. with my sister come once. to my house I'll take off my <laughs> We were all hanging out with once in the middle of Iowa, and so they were like, "We're going to a strip." Sisters, like, "Are we going?" I don't know. I'm not going to be left here. Did by you myself. go? We went. And how I, was it? It was. It was. It was gross. Like, it, how many options are in Iowa? Like, if there were better <laughs> ones, but like in this particular one, I a certain look in there, and it, I, I felt like I oh. thought I, I, I felt I could dance too, maybe. But, like, but Jed, you felt yeah, that? You yeah. That. Well, I. I grew up, I, I worked in the cocktail industry for a while, oh, and I worked in the cocktail district, and a lot of the Wall Street guys used to go, and I used to hear a lot of the stories. I have a lot of male friends, so it wasn't like you going, a lot of these stories are, are a lot racier than you going to cocktails, and that, that seems kind of innocent, but a lot of times there's contact made, a lot of dark stuff goes on. You have to pay so extra for that. me, look, I don't, I don't, for, look, for me, for, if, if, if my boyfriend went to a strip club for whatever, it wouldn't, I wouldn't consider it cheating, but I might look at it like, well, maybe, maybe this isn't the guy for me if that's what he's going to do in his spare time. Like, give me someone who wants really? to go to a boxing game. I'll take yeah. that guy. Somebody who wants to go to a basketball game. Yeah. Like, so it's not, I don't, I don't criminalize the guy because some so guy violence. might go and sit there. And violence and, yeah. is okay. <laughs> no, yeah. no, well, come on. I got yeah, friends who bad. work in the strip industry, and yeah. some of them are raising kids, and they're doing the best they yeah. can. And so, um, you know, I find a club because, you know, it's where, who are you? You know, it's, it's who you are. Strip, yeah. Strippers, you know, will get what you want if you ask for it. Some of them will, some of them won't. So, you never, I don't think it's a, it's you know, Maybe you know, she was for an you know, excuse to dump. Yeah, but, but there's something really, else going well, on. Well, that's yeah. something yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. But Sarah now, yeah. let's talk about something. Oh, yes, we do have like, something to talk yes, about. Yes, we it, do have not something. Strip clubs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the coolest gifts I've seen this season. Truly. The Bose Build Cube lets kids 
and older build their very own high quality speed with help from an iOS app. Kids explore the world of it's magnets, great. motion, and yeah. sound. Thanks to Bose Build, members of our audience are getting a speaker cube for the little inventors in their lives. Yes. That's it. confused because I know you're supposed to give something away but it's not in the prompter so I'll just say welcome back <laughs> a woman posted on cosmopolitan.com because she hates when people say how lucky she is to have found her partner she claims it wasn't luck it was persistence and a lot of hard work so what does this mean I totally agree with her I, I I wouldn't have thought of it that way until I read what she wrote about mm -hmm. calling it lucky, but I met my husband online, and about the time I went online, I remember thinking, everyone, when you talk about that, they're like, it's weird, you're going to meet weird people, you know, all this stuff, and I thought, we work out constantly for bodies, we sell our soul to our jobs to, like, make good money and climb the ladder, but when we're looking for our best friend for the rest of our lives, we don't want it to be uncomfortable. <laughs> we don't want anybody weird to hit on me, we don't want, you know, like, it's... Yeah. But that's the one place you should be putting in so much effort. So I went in and I thought, I'll have, if I like the person, I'll have one drink mm -hmm. a couple times a week. I'll look at it as a gym, yeah. gym time. <laughs> and I did that. And eventually I kept diving back in, even when it was uncomfortable. How and I met that. How many you? times, you, how many months? To toes did you have to have drinks with? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Before you yeah. well the by the time, time you don't, you don't make a date with the toads. Like you, the toads, you know, right away. Uh -huh. But the ones you might have some chemistry with. Yeah. I'll have a drink with anyone. And I let people set me up. I said, I'll, if you think there might be a connection, I'll go out with anyone. One drink. It is. And I, I mean, do, have you found it yet to be uh, I'm really shy. So, and like, I, with stuff like that. So I'm yeah. always the one who has to stumble into it. Like, every, almost right. everyone that I've dated has been a friend of a friend or a friend of a family member. Or I've never gone out and been like, you know what? I have single friends that are amazing at this. And they're like, you know what? I'm going to go out and I'm going to find a relationship. I'm going to be proactive so about it. I still it. think it's, I still think you're lucky to find someone I do who too. it connects with. I think luck plays a role. Luck plays in every good like thing in life. That. There's a little there, luck. There's a little yeah. luck in everything. Thing. And yeah, you could have, you know, it could have taken you four years. It didn't. Yeah. It took you much short amount of time because you clicked with somebody. You were lucky enough to find someone who made the grade. Some people do it from months and months and years and years and years, and they <laughs> yeah. don't find anybody. Well, and she yeah. clarifies, though. She said, "You find yourself saying, I 'I'm so lucky. I'm with so and so.' I think what she's saying is not that luck doesn't play a part, but don't hand it over to luck. Or people sit back and think." You know, if I was lucky, it'll show up on my doorstep. My, well, you gotta kind of, you gotta, you gotta go you gotta outside. Your you yeah. have to go outside. Go ahead, Joy. My too. friend Burns says that um, if you don't want a man, you really don't want it. No. That you can say you want to get find a guy and meet a guy, mm -hmm. but there are people who say that, but they yeah. really don't. If you really want to meet somebody, you, you will. Want. Do you agree with that? Yes. I, I do agree with that. I know for me, I was a serial dater and I was dating all these different people and I wasn't cl clicking mm -hmm. and connecting. And then I finally sort of. Started started thinking, what exactly am I looking for? I'm looking for someone who's Catholic that shares my, my faith and my belief in God. I'm looking for someone that I can really talk to, someone that is somewhat of an intellectual, someone that I'm going to find interesting. And I'm looking for someone that's a family man, and I'm looking for someone that's funny. A priest, right? <laughs> Husband in church. Well, in a funny I way, my in church, is and this, I went looking it's for the him same there. thing as this thing because a lot of people are, are holiday shopping, yeah, right? And women say, I'm not going in if the people who are selling the clothes are pretty, yeah, I'm not well, going to go in, yeah, they don't want to go in, you know, or, or they're 12. They're 12 yeah, and they're in a store. Young. Women yeah. don't want to go in. And, and Why do you think they're intimidated? Well, I, I think it has to do with you don't want to go into a store where four-year-olds are trying to sell you clothes. And when you say your size, they do this. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we only sell it in sizes one, we don't, three, and five. Uh, we don't really have that size. <laughs> you know? And my daughter says to me, you know, 
I look for grown-ups, grown women, women with bodies, yeah. to sell me clothes yeah. for my body. Right. Yeah. And so I think a lot of times women don't want to hear, you know, because just because you're a pencil, mm -hmm. you can't, like, be dismissive of people who are not pencils. Yeah. yeah. You know, there are there are number three pencils in that box of well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? There are also, like, five people yeah. stopping you. Yes. Let me help you. Let me right. help you. I want to go into yeah. Victoria's yeah. Secret and say, do you have 26 petite here? <laughs> I have to tell you, they do. Victoria they do. They has do? great. Oh yeah, they have great oh, size. They're great on their sizing. They I have, have never they seen that. They just don't have size. it on the runway. Oh, oh. I'm gonna come with so, you. I want to hear this. But Sarah, you have something else to tell I us. I sure do. Oh. This Wednesday, we may be increasing your holiday budget big time by giving away ten thousand dollars to wow. viewers. One studio audience member will get the chance to win up to five grand, and viewers yeah. at home can visit our Facebook page by tomorrow at five p.m. Eastern to see how you can enter for a chance to win five thousand dollars cash for the holidays. Wow. So, aren't you glad you stayed for that? Come back. We got more interesting stuff to tell you. We'll be right back. Hey, you guys. View your deal coming up next. This beanie has a Bluetooth speaker built right into it. We partnered up with vendors for up to 69% off for awesome finds for everyone on your list. Check these beanies out. You guys hear it? Yeah. Check it out. This week on The View, we want to kick things off with some really good news. It's the season for a holiday hot topic. Yeah. And Kellyanne Conway hits the table. Plus, we're hanging with Allie Whitworth and Tarazi P. Henson. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. There's more. Because Christmas comes early with our epic holiday show. The legendary Patti LaBelle makes our view a little sweeter. And Darlene Love brings down the house. mode about the holiday shopping, you're not alone, but relax. We partnered with vendors for up to 69% off the best last minute finds for everyone on your list, but it's only while supplies last. So let's get shopping with lifestyle expert Greta Monahan. I love that you started with wine. Oh, are you kidding? Of course. Don't worry. We've got everything you need here. So starting out with cork pops. These, they make two great products for the wine lover on your list and for the person who loves to entertain. Check this out. The first one, Vino Air. I love that you're drinking. Vino Air. You put this on. It's an aerator and a pourer, so it actually circulates air through as you pour. So your wine tastes velvety and amazing. The next velvety one is and Vino Ice. Check this out. You put this in. It's a stainless steel this rod. This is cool. You put this in for 30 minutes before you actually open your bottle, put it in, and you pour at the perfect temperature and enjoy. Well, you know how you always Amazing. bring a bottle of wine to someone's house? Yes. Like, bring that with it. You've got it. It's a great gift. Original price on these, $15 to $28. Today's deal, $7.50 to $14. Woo! Bluetooth enabled beanies. So they're actually built in speakers, That's headphones cute. built right in, right into your beanie, stream high quality audio. You so can take and listen to music. To My husband wears it all the time for calls. It's amazing. He looks like a crazy person, I bet. <laughs> but I love this gift, Sarah, for teenagers, moms, yes, dads, teenagers, guys, gals. Doesn't matter. It's great for everybody. Original price, $69. Today's deal, $30 oh. for savings. Peace World, Peace Love World is the name of the company. They do the I Lily Tote. Company. There's six different amazing oversized totes. So much room in these. Look at the handles. They're soft. They don't gouge you. They're great. And these spread good vibes wherever they go. So it's a perfect gift. And they're Overnight, huge. Overnight, grocery, I love this. everything. I just love this bag. Original forty dollars. Today's deal twenty bucks. What an amazing gift. Oh, you can't use another gift. gift. Do you want a drink of your wine or is it just me? I love that you're carrying it. Amelia Rose, <laughs> check these out. Wrap bracelets. Look at this. Quartz with a new added silver bead oh. accent. So it gives you that extra pop. This is perfect for the woman who loves classic, timeless jewelry that looks good day or night. These are incredible. Those are cute. And you can put them on. You wrap them around four or five times. Wear one or wear several like me because I love them. And you always this style and price, on. you can't go wrong. Original price here, $66. Today's deal, $20. 69% off. Oh my god. I mean, come on. All right.
Okay. No, Check this out. Great in a stocking stuffer. Yeah, maybe. and you'll love. I remember you know these Mission. Yes. So Mission makes products for the adventure junkie or sport person. They literally make products where you have tech built in to keep you either warm oh, this or cool warm you down. Cool. Absolutely. So check it out. With the heating, you get a t full face cover, you get hats, gloves. It's amazing. Everything that you could think of and to cool you down, things like this or even a towel where you wet it, <laughs> twist it, and you get instant cooling. Also, this is like check out cooking. these guys. You have hand and foot warmers that give you instant heat for up to six hours. Put them in your gloves, in your pockets. Oh. Incredible. Original, 20 to $72. Hold on. Deal ten to thirty six dollars. Savings That's a good one. Love these. I love message socks. Sock art assorted socks. Now this is just a little assortment. Wait till you go online. It's a huge assortment. Anyone who likes to laugh. Look how cute these are. You've got whimsical phrases, feel good, either every day or holiday like. You styles for men or women. These are just so oh, cute. These are and so cute. feel them. Premium cotton. They're really cute. You have arch support. They're built beautifully. Arch with a support lot is of important. Great for wearing boots too or just hanging out. Original, $15. Today's deal, $7.50. Are the most universal gift. I know. So Everyone nice. needs them. Yeah. A big thank you again to Greta Monahan for saving all of us with our shopping. But the clock is ticking. You have 24 hours to get any of these exclusive deals at viewyourdeal.com. And members of our audience are going home with Sock Art Song and a Mission Scarf and Beanie. So you'll be warm for your next adventure. We'll be right back. We're having the strangest conversations when you guys aren't looking. Um, and so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Christmas is around. There was a, well, well, there was a lady. What was she doing? What was this woman doing? She did something. Oh, she, she decorated her, the front of her house. Yes, there's oh. some woman who has decorated crazy in front of her house, and people are freaking out because they say it's too loud, too much, too much Christmas. But can you music. ever have 24 7 with the music? Christmas. The same yeah. song. Same, same song, song 24 it's like 7. And, yeah, it's kind of freaky. Yeah. But you know what? You don't even have to think about it. We want you to have a great day and take a little time to enjoy the view. <laughs>